people welcome to my channel and welcome to yet another video in the series of crash course unit 6 english in india history evolution and future in the previous video i discussed an important act that was charter act of 1813 which helped english as a language to flourish across the indian subcontinent and in this entire video lecture series i'm talking about some really really important uh, topics when it comes to the unit 6 english uh, in india we are talking about why did britishers introduce english in indian subcontinent what was the need what was the intention of britishers uh, behind introducing this new language in indian subcontinent we are also looking at some of the most important acts that were passed during this period which helped english language to bloom across the country we are also looking at this important question that how does english as a language affected the indian languages the indian culture and the indian theory of knowledge so we are going to address all these topics in detail in the video lecture series so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel it's time to do that so that you're notified next time i upload a video on this topic apart from that if you've not visited my website to look at the course that we have designed exclusively for ugc net english aspirant and this course is as per the new syllabus divided in 10 units and the detailed course syllabus the detailed description of topics that we are including in our course is given on the website so you can go and visit the website arpitakarva.com and check out the detailed uh, description about our online course which comprises of pdfs audio lectures and mock tests so without making any further delay let's jump right into the topic and let's see how, what was the role of missionaries in spreading English across the Indian subcontinent? In the last video, I discussed Charter Act and we saw how Charter Act helped missionaries. In this video, we are going to look at the working of missionary in more detail. Missionaries came into India after Charter Act of 1813 was passed and their main aim was to promote Christianity in India. So they introduced English language because they felt that by uh, introducing people to English language, they can prepare them for the right kind of Christianity. They would be able to understand Christianity in its full stature only when they will have enough knowledge of English literature and English language. So the role of missionaries were not only to spread English across India, they wanted to introduce and convert people into new language, that is English, into new culture, that was Western, and into new religion, that was Christianity. And you'll be surprised to know that be between 1814 to 1840, between these 25 years, more than 50 missionary schools and colleges were opened all across India. And one of the best example of missionary college was the Bishop College that was opened in 1818. The impact of missionaries was that when missionaries introduced English speaking schools and colleges in India, people rushed to get education from these schools and colleges. There was a fantasy in people's mind that they should be able to speak fluent English. They all wanted to become Babus and Memsabs who were fluent in English. Also, at the same time, English newspapers were introduced in India and therefore people thought that if they would be able to read and write in English, then they can also get jobs in English newspapers. As far as the employment sector is concerned, there were some job opportunities exclusively for the English speaking Indians and therefore the demand for English education increased. Colleges like Agra College and uh, Delhi College, all these colleges started teaching English as a subject. Also, you must note the fact that while this was happening, there were two groups. One was Anglicist and the other were Orientalist. Anglicists believe that English language is superior and in India education should be imparted only in English language. On the other hand, we had Orientalists who believed that Indian classical languages are way superior than, Hindi, uh, than English. So if you look at the Anglicist, you'll find out that Raja Ram Mohan Roy, who was a social reformer, believed that English can 
take Indians to a next level and he believed that by introducing English to Indians, Indian brains would be able to become more powerful than they are. On the other hand, if you look at the Orientalist, then Warren Hastings, who was a British leader, he was a supporter of Oriental education and he said that in colleges, education should be imparted in the Indian classical languages like Persian and Sanskrit. So you can see how few Indians were supporting English and few Britishers were supporting Indian vernacular languages. So this was how the debate and discussion about whether English or whether the Indian languages should become the medium of instruction started and it continued for years and years without coming down to a conclusion. I'm sure that you must be wondering that how did this debate of Anglicist and Orientalist end? And you'll be surprised to know that it was Lord Macaulay whose minutes on English education played a major role in ending this debate between the Anglicist and the Orientalist. We are going to discuss the role of Lord Macaulay and the role of his minutes in the next video lecture. So stay tuned to my channel. If you've not yet subscribed, do it right now. If you've not yet followed me on the social media platform, I think you should do it so that you get notification about the latest UGC net updates. Apart from that, like and share this video with other net aspirants so that if anyone is confused with the new change in syllabus, with the new units which have been introduced, they can get a solution right on YouTube. So that's it for this video lecture. We'll meet soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarwa.com.